Hey guys, I'm John P with GeekBeat, and today we are going to take a look at HP's magnificent enterprise class laser printer, the MFP M575. Okay guys, uh, it's a printer, so number one, you normally aren't going to get all that excited because it's a printer, it's just supposed to print stuff, but when we really examine these things, there are some big differences between various printers, especially when you step up to these enterprise grade network printers. So what we're going to do today is take a look at this MFP M575 from HP, and I happen to also have a brother uh, MFC 9970 which is much less expensive like one-third the price or something so I want to kind of compare and contrast them a little bit but first we're going to take a look at this MFP M575 just from a feature perspective because this is one of the most impressive printers I've ever seen that you can just put in your office um, okay the first thing that comes right stands right out is there's this giant color screen and what I really like about it is you can swivel it forward to any angle you want um, you see it's kind of going into power saving mode here but it is a touch screen so you can uh, you can just drag uh, your finger up and down this bar now one thing you can't do is you can't drag on this screen like an iPad but um, that is okay because we can we can scroll using the scroll bars and there's a lot of different features and options it's a very sophisticated interface um, including this administration panel here where you can see just tons and tons of options I mean you click one of these and you've got options for that what how many you know the different sides of printing and oops um, color black and white You've got everything here. We can talk about copying, scanning, faxing. It's all in here. So you can really customize things. You can shut off certain features, set up the default. Now, as you're using this thing, some people don't like typing on the screen. No problem. They included an actual keyboard. It's like a computer built into your printer. So you can use the keyboard for various things that you need to accomplish. Okay. So when we get past those two things, some of the basics on this, first of all, it has an 800 megahertz CPU. It's got one and a half gig of internal storage, so you can just line up the print jobs. It prints 31 pages per minute in either color or black and white, and it'll do it at 1200 DPI. Now it has a 250 sheet paper tray built in here, and I like the fact that all of the uh, toner cartridges are easily accessible right here from the front. We can get to them nice and easy. It does have a flatbed scanner and it also has a 50 page uh, scanner up here. Of course it does both duplex printing and scanning so it'll do two-sided on both and I like that they even included a little there's a little paper stapling thing in here. You can staple your, your print jobs. So there is, over, if we look over at this side, by the way, it's heavy. It weighs 100 pounds. Over here you'll see we've got the fax um, input. We've got a USB input if you want to hook it up that way. And we've got a network cable, which is the way we've had it connected. It will also do Wi-Fi, although we have not been messing with the Wi-Fi since we have a network jack available. Um, there is also an, a, a USB input right here on this side and that's kind of cool because for example well first of all let's print something. I've got two different uh, things we're gonna try printing. First of all we're gonna try printing a full color image right out of Photoshop here. Let's go file print. We will choose the HP, 10 copies, and hit the print button. You know what, while we're at it, we might as well try printing a couple copies on the other one for comparison. So 
what the heck. We'll go to the brother. We'll print 10 copies there. And let's see what happens. We're waiting. Now, as this particular machine is working on it, I can, you'll see right here it says processing. And if I want to, I can click this little button and we'll see there is a, a job coming in. Um, uh, I will resume all because it might have thought I was trying to cancel it. And it's going to spit the the copies out right here. So they're, they're starting to come out. Now look how fast those are coming out. These are full page, full color copies, as you can see. And they're starting to come out of the brother as well. But, let's see, we've got three of them out of here and we're still waiting. These are all done. And if you'll notice, it's hard to see because you guys are looking at a video, but there is a huge difference in the quality of these things. The, the brother has, it looks kind of grain, like kind of grainy and stuff. And this one is very smooth. The reds are much redder. This one is dull. So the print quality is dramatically different. Looks like I ran out of paper here in the brother, so we'll get back to that later. But clearly it was completing the job much faster. Now, let's check out the scanning functionality. I'm going to load these right into the scanner tray here. And what, one thing we can do is we can save, we can scan them and save them right into the memory of the device. So I'm just going to do that. Let's scan it. It asked me where do I want to. I could make a new folder. I'm just going to scan right here into this folder and I'm going to say rooftop. So I gave it a name and I hit save to device memory. Here we go. Now it's going to scan them. Watch how fast it pulls these things through. It's really amazing. That's what a, an enterprise grade machine would do. This one over here would be taking much, much longer to scan these. That's it. It's scanned all 10 of them. So now we could go back in here and we could retrieve from device memory. We could go in the untitled and for example, we've got one here called Tokyo which happens to be a single scan of one of those. And I say, retrieve from device memory. And guess what? It's gonna print it right out here for us. So if you had certain documents that you wanted to save within this machine that regularly get printed, you can do that. Just scan them in, it saves them. You can also scan them to the network and everything else. Faxing works the same way. Double-sided scanning the same way. So. All in all, I would say this is a very sophisticated piece of equipment that you can add to your office. Everyone can enjoy it simultaneously. It'll take care of all your faxing needs, your scanning needs, your printing needs. The print quality is excellent and it's really, really fast. Pricing on these things, well, they retail for about 3,200 bucks at HP's website you can probably get it discounted at other retailers. I would give it two thumbs up. We've enjoyed it. We've been using it for about two months um, since we've had it. We have almost abandoned this brother because this thing is so much better. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you have additional questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit thumbs up on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash geekbtv. Subscribe, baby, and I'm out of here.